Hello, first graders. We are going to be creating an underwater scene today. So you are going to need a piece of white paper that I sent home with you, the nice thick kind of paper, and then you're going to need a pencil to write with. So go ahead and pause the video and get those two things for me. All right, hopefully you're back now. I am going to be using a black marker because if I write with pencil, you will not be able to see what I'm doing. So the first thing we're going to be creating is a shark. I think we all think sharks are very interesting. So in the middle of your paper, we're going to make a nice big shark. So we're going to do a straight line across. All right. Then we're going to do a half circle. So we're going to come down and back and up. Um, that kind of looks more like a bowl, doesn't it? Um, back here on the end, we are going to do a letter C. And inside that, we're going to do a smaller one of those. From the top, we are going to do a curve to the back. And from the belly, we're going to do a curve to the back. And we're going to bring those then back to the body. In the middle, we're going to do a nice big eyeball. And if I'm going too fast, make sure you pause the video. Behind the eyeball, we're going to do three curved lines, which are going to be the gills for our shark. And then in his eye, we're going to give him a little eye. And, you know, we're going to give this guy a smile. I think he's a happy shark. So now that our shark is complete, we're going to be adding other things to our drawing. Down at the bottom, we're going to add some seaweed and even some other sea life. Okay? So right now, in one of your corners, go ahead and create some sort of a, a rock platform, okay? Because one of the things that we're going to put on here is a little crab. On the other part, I want you to start drawing some lines up, and each one of those is going to curve and go back down. Curve and down, curve and down. Those are like little sea anemones. Okay, so we can add some more on each side. So up, curve, back down. Behind that, coming up, we're going to wiggle up with a line. And then you're going to wiggle back down. It's going to be some, some leafy plants. And that's going to come up. We're going to make several of those. Because deep in the ocean, we have a lot of plants. I didn't know if you knew that, but there are lots and lots of plants on the ocean floor that our sea life enjoys. Okay? So give yourself some seaweed over there along the bottom. I'm going to do some flat coral. Flat coral underneath the ocean literally looks kind of like lettuce. <laughs> Except it's got tons of holes in it. So you can give your flat coral some dots to show that there's holes in it. Very pretty. It waves as the water moves past it. Gorgeous. I had the opportunity to scuba dive when I was in Jamaica and it was just beautiful. So we've got some stuff going on. Now let's go ahead and add a little crab up here. So for my little crab, I'm going to um, start with its little body. I'm going to do a little curved line and then a little scoop, almost like a little teacup, if you will. 
out to the side. I'm going to give my little crabby, six little crabby legs. Two of them are going to go down, and two of them are going to go up. On the ends of those little ups, I'm doing the letter U, and I'm going to create those little pinchers on the end sides. <laughs> and if you want to add another little set of legs, you can. I'm going to put a little line, two little lines coming up, and I'm going to give them little eyes. And I'm going to put a little dot in there also. Okay, and I'm going to give him a smile. He's a happy little crab. He's not crabby at all. <laughs> um, so our undersea picture is well on its way. I would like for you now to use your imagination of what could, what else could be under the water. I'm going to add the top level of my water up here. And up in this area is going to be sky. So if you want a boat, you would bring down the bottom of the boat. And the top part of the boat would be sticking up out of the water. Okay. And maybe even they have, maybe they're fishing. Oh my gosh, don't go for the hook. And maybe there's a little hook here. All right. And maybe there's even a little worm on the hook. And they're trying to catch a fish. I don't know. What else could you put in your, could, it, could there be a scuba diver? Could there be some other tropical fish? Right now, your job is to finish your underwater imagination area. Maybe there's a treasure chest down here. That would be cool. What about a mermaid? So neat. I hope you've enjoyed this today. And it is your job to finish and color your creations. Can't wait to see what you come up with.